he participated in several Arctic expeditions, including the mapping of the northeastern coast of Greenland. He searched for a lost party and completed the map of Greenland. He led a sled expedition across the inland ice of Greenland. His name is Johann Peter Koch. Johann Peter Koch, a renowned explorer, made significant contributions to the field of polar exploration. In 1900, he participated in Amdrup's expedition to East Greenland, venturing into uncharted territories and expanding our understanding of the region. Koch's expertise and dedication were further demonstrated during the surveying expeditions to Iceland in 1903-1904, where he served as a valuable member of the general staff. However, it was his involvement in the ill-fated Denmark expedition led by Ludwig Mylius Eriksen from 1906 to 1908 that truly showcased Koch's resilience and determination. This expedition aimed to map the last pieces of the northeastern coast of Greenland. Tragically, Mylius Eriksen and two others lost their lives during a long sled voyage from Denmark Shaven to Piri Land. In the face of adversity, Koch, along with the Greenlander Tobias Gabrielsen, embarked on a search for the missing party. Their efforts were met with sorrow, as they could only recover the charts hand-drawn by Niels Peter Hoag Hagen from the body of the lone survivor, Jorgen Braunlund. Nevertheless, these charts played a crucial role in completing the map of Greenland. In 1907, Koch and Auge Bertelsen made a significant discovery. They reported being the first to witness Fata Morgana Land, a phantom island believed to lie between northeast Greenland and Svalbard. This elusive land, which had captivated the imagination of explorers, was later observed from the air by Lodge Koch in 1933, further confirming its existence. Koch's thirst for exploration persisted, leading him to undertake a sled expedition across the inland ice of Greenland in 1912-1913. Joined by Alfred Wegener, Vigfus Sigurdsson, and Lars Larsen, Koch pushed the boundaries of human endurance and expanded our knowledge of Greenland's vast icy landscapes. Johann Peter Koch's expeditions have had a profound impact on the world, shedding light on the unexplored corners of Greenland and inspiring future generations of explorers. His unwavering spirit and remarkable achievements continue to shape our understanding of the polar regions, making him a true pioneer in the field of exploration. Johann Peter Koch, a renowned explorer and geographer, embarked on a remarkable expedition to Greenland and Iceland. Setting sail from Denmark Shaven, he navigated through treacherous Arctic waters, braving icy winds and towering glaciers. Koch's deep knowledge of navigation and his unwavering determination allowed him to chart unexplored territories with great precision. As he ventured further into Greenland, Koch stumbled upon a breathtaking ice-free peninsula, which he named J.P. Koch Land. This pristine wilderness, surrounded by the majestic Greenland ice sheet and adorned with the northernmost basalt mountain, Pingut, offered a glimpse into the raw beauty of the Arctic. Koch's passion for exploration extended beyond mapping the land. His relentless pursuit of knowledge led him to conduct extensive research on the region's geography and anthropology. In recognition of his remarkable contributions, he was awarded the prestigious Vega Medal by the Swedish Society for Anthropology and Geography. The significance of Koch's achievements reached far beyond accolades and medals. His unwavering dedication to the exploration of Greenland and Iceland earned him a place of honor in the International Polar Commission. His expertise and insights became invaluable resources for future explorers and scientists. To immortalize his legacy, the J.P. Koch Glacier was named in his honor, forever preserving his name in the icy expanse of Greenland. Koch's passion for discovery and his unwavering commitment to expanding human knowledge continue to inspire generations of explorers to this day. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.